In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X up to 5544 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus ROG Strix X670EF gaming motherboard and EK Quantum custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and most definitely not the whole picture on how to overclock this system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the advanced mode view. Then enter the AI tweaker menu. Set AI overclock tuner to Expo 2. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Expo 2 will load the entire profile without the motherboard adjustments. Set e-clock mode to asynchronous mode. This enables an external clock generator to drive the CPU frequency. Ryzen 7000 has three clock generator modes, internal, external synchronous and external asynchronous. In external asynchronous mode, there are two external 100 MHz clock generators. One is used exclusively for the CPU core frequency and the other for the other parts inside the CPU. Set BCLK2 frequency to 109.25 MHz. That will increase our precision boost algorithm frequencies by 9.25%. In our case, the maximum boost frequency ceiling increases from 5450 MHz to 5,954 MHz. Set memory frequency to DDR5-5600. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5-6400, unfortunately, our CPU isn't able to run that frequency. By enabling Expo, we still benefit from the improved memory timings. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here is where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Increasing the platform boost parameters typically is most impactful with multi-core processors. With the 6-core 7600X, we don't even hit the platform limits at stock values. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Negative. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 375. This decreases the frequency ceiling by 375 MHz over the programmed Max 1T limit. On this Ryzen 5 7600X, that's 5450 MHz. Reducing this by 375 MHz results in a frequency ceiling of 5,075 MHz. But adjusted by our e-clock of 109.25 MHz, that becomes 5,544 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to all cores. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to adjust the VFT curve for each core by up to 30 steps in a positive and up to 300 steps in a negative direction. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. That is what we need in our overclock. Set all core curve optimizer sign to plus. Set all core curve optimizer magnitude to 30. This will give us the maximum additional voltage using curve optimizer. Leave the curve optimizer submenu. Leave the precision boost overdrive submenu. Set CPU core voltage to offset mode. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set CPU core voltage offset to 0.05. This will add an additional 50 millivolt on top of the voltage requested by the precision boost algorithm. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see the maximum performance increase of plus 8.80% in AI benchmark. 
The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5,544 MHz when running Prime 95, small FFTs with AVX disabled. The average CPU effective clock is 5,119 MHz with 1.387 volt. The average CPU temperature is 94.9 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 26.9 and 34.1 degrees Celsius. And the average CPU package power is 130.4 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for their support and see you next time.